Hello, I'm Amira Jacobs of Amaranth Healing and today we're talking about standing, standing up straight. So as children, we're taught to pay attention to our posture, but later in life, we kind of forget about it. And since most of us sit at a desk all day, we can develop some pretty unhealthy habits. So why is this important? Well, when you fold your body forward or when you hunch forward, and it happens for a few reasons. Maybe you live in Canada and you're cold all the time, or you feel wounded some way, so it's a protection device, or you're just tired. But what happens is you restrict the flow of your breathing. And if you watched my last episode, you'll remember the importance of the breath. But the other thing that can happen is you can do damage to your spine, neck, and shoulders. And whatever back problems you're having now will be compounded as you age. So today I want to walk you through something called mountain pose, which is a fancy way of saying standing in proper alignment. I think I was about 33 or so when I realized I was not standing in a healthy way. I kind of pressed my chest out and like I was in the military or something and I did this weird thing with my feet and I had absolutely no body awareness. And actually the spine is not straight. The spine is actually S-shaped so it can distribute the weight of your upper body evenly and absorb the shock of movement that moves through the vertebrae. So stand up and take your feet about hip width apart and point your feet forward. Now take a look at your knees and make sure that they are in line with your ankles and take a micro bend in the knee. Now put your hands on your hips and I want you to think of your pelvis as a bowl of water. You don't want to tip the bowl forward and you don't want to tip the bowl backwards or else the water will spill out. So finding that nice neutral position. Now if you have a mirror, take a look, check yourself out, but please be gentle on yourself. This is meant to bring some awareness to your body and what you're doing and not find fault in what you're currently doing. So in that nice position, I want you to become conscious of the bottoms of your feet and press your feet into the floor and come to a nice standing position. Now here you're gonna roll your shoulders back slightly and broaden your chest and tuck that chin in a tiny bit. So from looking at computer screens and our phones all day, we are developing a habit where we're pushing our head forward and what happens is it's doing damage to the neck. So just making a slight adjustment there and then finally drawing the top of your head to the sky, drop the shoulder or drop the arms and take a few breaths. And doesn't it feel amazing? <laughs> so automatically you're engaging the core by doing nothing else but standing mindfully, you're actually getting a mini ab workout. Now, if you've never done anything like this before, be kind to yourself. Any distortions that might be in your body have taken a lifetime to create, so you're not going to have perfect posture in a day. I always say Rome was not built in a day. Start small, breathing, standing mindfully. Minor changes are the way to success. Now, next time we're going to talk about energy, energy work. We keep hearing about chakras and auras and energy work, and maybe it has absolutely no meaning for you. But I'm going to show you a practical application that you can use to harmonize your own energy system right in the comfort of your own home. If any of this was helpful to you, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like me on Facebook. If you'd like to book a session with me, you can contact me through my website, which is amaragehealing.com. Thank you for joining me today, and until next time, be well.